हेलो स्वतंत्र टीवी व्यूअर्स आई एम महिमा वेलकमिंग यू टू आर इंग्लिश बुलेटिन विद लेटेस्ट न्यूज अपडेट्स एंड एनालिसिस आंध्र प्रदेश चीफ मिनिस्टर वाई एस जगन मोहन रेड्डी ऑन मंडे इनोग्रेटेड इन्फोसिस सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट सेंटर इन विशाखापट्टनम स्प्रेड अक्रॉस 83,750 स्क्वायर फीट एंड बिल्ट एट अ कॉस्ट ऑफ 35 फाइव करोड़ रुपीज द सॉफ्टवेयर सेंटर इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू हाउस 1,000 थाउजेंड एम्प्लॉयज विशाखापट्टनम हैज ऑलवेज हैड दैट पोटेंशियल टू बी बिकम अ टियर वन सिटी इट इज वन पर्टिकुलर सिटी वेयर इन इट हैज द पोटेंशियल टू बिकम समथिंग लाइक हैदराबाद बेंगलुरु और चेन्नई सेट सी एम जगन while addressing the company's employees and executives after inaugurating the center the chief minister observed that the southern state was left with no tier one city after the bifurcation of united andhra pradesh visag the largest city in the state has the capacity to become a tier one city he said on his decision to run the government from visag the chief minister said it had been deferred again by a few more months until december He had earlier promised of shift his office here in September. The chief minister said that he has directed officials to scout for good premises for him to govern the state from the coastal city. Enforcer CFO Nilanjan Roy said that the new center will offer new opportunities to the local talent pool. Vizag would be the destination where dreams would come true and uh, I'm confident that in the days to come with enforces and with uh, the support of the state government wisac would see an altogether a different uh, growth a different growth trajectory all my best wishes to the enforces top management and i am once again assuring uh, the enforces top management that anything you require we just a phone call away please be mindful of that and uh, we are here to support you any which way in whatever way you deem fit you please uh, uh, do uh, uh, take us into confidence and we would stand by you in every which way that's uh, these are the words from my side and uh, i wish everybody here the top from the top management to every employee who is who is here all the very best wishes from my side with a view to boost winning prospects for congress party in telangana state congress leader rahul gandhi will embark on a bus yatra from 18th october onwards stated the party sources rahul gandhi will participate in the bus yatra in telangana for 3 days from 18th october as part of the party's campaign for next month's assembly elections He will cover a distance of about 190 kilometers covering five assembly constituencies in Mulugu, Varangal, Karimnagar and Nizamabad district party sources said State Congress chief Ravind Reddy said Rahul Gandhi will address public meetings undertake padyatra and also interact with various sections of people He will visit Ramappa temple in Mulugu constituency on the evening of 18th October He will then address a public meeting in Mulugu town to formally launch the bus yatra. The Congress MP will participate in para yatras and also would meet students, unemployed youth, singarini, NTPC and RFCL workers, rice millers, Gulf migrants and bidi workers in Bodhan constituency. The MP will also visit Nizam Sugar Factory. In Almer, he will address a public meeting and also interact with turmeric and sugarcane farmers. Rahul Gandhi will conclude 3 day visit with Padyatra at Nizamabad with Padyatra in the evening the party sources said Gandhi Priyanka Gandhi garu Shivudi bhaktulu andi kakatilla samrajyamlo Rudra devudu nirminchina Ramappa devalayam nunchi Shivudi ki poojalu chesi Telangana rashtramlo Vijayaberi yatra prarambhinchabothundi ee karyakramamlo राहुल गांधी गार प्रियांका गांधी गार पागो राम आलय सदर्शन तरह भूपालपल मुल निजर्ग पैध महिला वेला मंद महिला सभन निर्वि महिला समस्या महिला समस्या परकर कांग्रेस पार्टी विधाना अड़ चर्चा जो आ रोज रात्रि अच्छे बैलदेरी पंद तारीख रोज रामगुंडम चेरको सिंगरे कार्मिक कल सिंगरे ये विधा प्रभुत्म निर्वीर्य वेला रूपये कुंभकोणाल पाल सिंगरे नियामकों जगह अवकतवक संबंधी सिंगरे बेतम चेसी आ कार्मिक आदा अवसर मैंने कार्याचरण वालों चर्चा माटाकोनी
Union Defence Minister Rajnath Singh attacked CM Chandra Shekhar Rao and his family for corruption and neglecting development in the Telangana state. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh addressed public meetings at Jammi Kunta in the Hujurbad Assembly segment and at Badangpet in the Maheswaram constituency on Monday as part of the BJP's campaign for the upcoming Legislative Assembly polls in Telangana. Rajnath Singh expressed his concerns about the state's development and governance in his address to the public meeting in Hujurbad. He stated, in the last 10 years, the development in Telangana is not just limited, but private limited. Telangana people chose KCR as a CM, not his family, said Rajnath Singh. The whole family is running the government. The people of Telangana are being neglected. There is an abuse of power under KCR's rule and corruption is increasing rapidly. KCR says that he has never done any corruption, but the talk of corruption done by his family is not limited to Hyderabad or Telangana. It has reached Delhi, Rajnath Singh alleged. Rajnath also questioned KCR about his promise to give Dalits three acres of land and a 10 lakh rupees grant per family, and how many beneficiaries have received the benefit. He claimed that women are getting more opportunities under the Modi regime, claiming that the Women's Reservation Bill, which was recently passed in Parliament, could go into effect in 2029 or even 2026. Union Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, along with other union ministers, including Piyush Goyal, Parshottam Rupala, and Sadhvi Niranjan Jyoti, is set to continue addressing BJP campaign rallies in Telangana throughout the week in preparation for the Legislative Assembly poll scheduled for 30th November. Sadhvi Niranjan Jyoti is expected to meet with fishermen at Mushirbad and Ambapet in Hyderabad, according to BJP sources. According to the report, Rupala will speak at a rally in Kalvakurthi on Monday, while Goyal will attend an event in Jubilee Hills on 17th October evening. हम चाहते हैं तेलंगाना का ओवरऑल ओवरऑल डेवलपमेंट हो बहन भाई इसलिए मैं आपसे निवेदन करना चाहता हूं कि आपका सपोर्ट आपका समर्थन यह भारतीय जनता पार्टी को प्राप्त होना चाहिए मैं तेलंगाना की जनता से कहना चाहता हूं आपने बीआरएस को दो बार देखा उनको मौका दो बार दिया हमें केवल एक बार मौका देखकर देखिए कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी कैसे सरकार इस तेलंगाना में चलाती बीआरएस की कार बेकार हो गई या कटारा हो गई है तो हाथ आपका साथ छोड़ चुका है कमल को अपनाइए कमल को स्वीकार कीजिए और बटन दबाना है अगले चुनाव में तो कमल का बटन दबाइए अ वीडियो ऑफ अ कपल फ्रॉम हैदराबाद किसिंग फ्रॉम द सन रूफ ऑफ अ स्पीडिंग कार इज गोइंग वायरल ऑन द इंटरनेट द शॉर्ट क्लिप शोज अ कपल इंडल्जिंग इन पब्लिक डिस्प्ले ऑफ अफेक्शन एज अ कार दे आर ट्रेवलिंग इन इज सीन मूविंग ऑन द पी एक्सप्रेस वे एट हाई स्पीड The clip shows a man wearing a white t-shirt kissing a woman several times coming out of the sunroof of a car. Police are examining the viral video. The Romans show on the vehicle distracted other motorists and put the couple at risk of injury. A netizen posted the video on social media and asked if the police would take action. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi charged at PM Narendra Modi that Modi was more interested in what was happening in Israel than what all happened in Manipur. The Congress leader accused that the Bharatiya Janata Party has destroyed the idea of Manipur and the state is no longer one entity. People were murdered, women were molested and babies were killed in the northeastern state and yet PM Modi didn't find it important to travel there. Rahul Gandhi accused Gandhi arrived in Mizoram on Monday for a two-day visit to campaign for his party. The state is set to vote on 7th November for its 40-seat assembly. He began the campaign with a padyatra from Chamari to Raj Bhavan in Aswal. On Tuesday, he will meet party leaders and address a press conference in Aswal. He will also visit Lungle town and address a public meeting there. The ruling Mizo National Front, MNF, and main opposition party Joram People's Movement, ZPM, have already announced the names of their candidates for all 40 seats. Congress is likely to announce the names of candidates during Gandhi's visit. The BJP said that it will release the list of its candidates for elections in the next 2-3 days. It is no longer 
a state. It is now two states. People have been murdered, women have been molested, babies have been killed, but the Prime Minister doesn't find it important to travel there. It's amazing to me that the Prime Minister and the government of India are so interested in what is happening in Israel, but not interested at all in what is happening in Manipur. If you look at our national media, you will find story after story after story, talk show after talk show about what is going on in the Middle East. But nobody in the national media speaks about what is going on in Manipur. Nobody is talking about the pain, the misery that has been caused there. And I simply cannot understand why the Prime Minister has not visited. It's, it, is something, it is something to be ashamed of that the leader of our union has not travelled to the state of Manipur after what has happened there. And Manipur is just a symptom of the problem. You can see the same problem in a smaller form in many different parts of the nation. In a sensational twist to the infamous Nithari murders case, the Allahabad High Court on Monday acquitted Surendra Kohli and Moninder Singh Pandher in all the cases they were convicted in the 2006. The High Court cancelled the death sentence given to Surendra Kohli in 12 cases and Moninder Singh Pandher in two cases. The verdict has come as a major blow to the Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI. The High Court cancelled the death sentence that was awarded to the convicts by Ghaziabad CBI Court. A division bench of Justice Ashwini Kumar Mishra and Justice Shah Rizvi gave the order. However, the court upheld the death sentence of Kohli in one case and on the basis of delay, commuted the same in another case to life imprisonment. Now, both have been acquitted in all these cases on the basis of a lack of evidences from eyewitnesses. The infamous Nithari case came to light in the year 2006. Dono Mukadmo me, Aj Alabad High Court ne Monander Singh Pandeir ko bari kar diya hai. Baizat bari kar diya hai. Surendra Kohli ko bhi, baaki jitne bhi appeal hai yaha par thi, sab me bari kar diya gaya. Total kitne cases me appeal ki gai thi, aur kitne me phaat? Kohli me, meri khayal se 14 ke aspas thi, 14 ke 14 thi, shay tha. बारह चौदह नहीं मिलाकर बारह या चौदह चौदह देवो फोर्टीन केसेस तो सब में बरी कर दिया गया है और पंडेर के खिलाफ सिर्फ दो थी तो उन दोनों में बरी कर दिया तो ये मतलब बरी कर दिया गया मतलब कोई सजा नहीं है अब कोई सजा नहीं है सेशंस कोर्ट का जो जजमेंट है उसे रिवर्स करके एक्विटेड Total six cases थे सर जिसमें से एक तो लाबाद हाई कोर्ट ने पहले ही बरी कर दिया था बाकी तीन में नीचे कोर्ट सेशंस कोर्ट से बरी हो गए थे बचे दो दो में फांसी थी उन पास हाँ अब उनमें भी हो गए तो उम्मीद तो यही है कि जल्दी से जल्दी जल्दी से जल्दी बाहर आएंगे the Supreme Court on Monday referred petitions challenging the validity of electoral bond scheme for political funding of parties to a five-judge constitution bench. The top court will start hearing the matter on 30th October. Sources said the decision was announced by Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachud. The petitions against the electoral bond scheme focus primarily on two issues, the legalization of anonymous donations to political parties and the violation of citizens' right to information about the funding of parties. The electoral bond scheme was announced in the 2017 Union Budget in a bid to make funding to political parties transparent and free from cash donations. An electoral bond is an interest-free bearer instrument that is used to donate money to political parties. The electoral bond system was introduced in 2017 through a finance bill and it was implemented in 2018. On the other hand, the centre maintained that the electoral bond scheme was transparent. Personal revenge drama, intense action and thrilling effects makes the much-awaited trailer of Salman Khan star Tiger 3 very intriguing. The trailer of Salman Khan and Katrina Kaif's Tiger 3 was released on Monday. Directed by Manish Sharma, the film is set to release on 12th November worldwide in Hindi, Tamil and Telugu. The trailer shows Salman Khan in a situation where he has to choose between his country and his family. The trailer starts with Imran Hashmi's voiceover and Tiger and Zoya, Salman and Katrina, 
are seen spending family time. The voiceover and the trailer then shows that Salman Khan is stuck in a situation where he has to choose between his family and his country. Both the actors are seen doing high octane action in the trailer. Produced by Yash Chopra Films, the action thriller is the fifth film in the Wire of Spy universe, following Ek Tha Tiger, Tiger Zinda Hai, War, and Pathan. Shah Rukh Khan too will be making a guest appearance as Pathan in Tiger 3. Over 1 million people in Gaza have been displaced as Israel prepares for ground assault after unprecedented attack launched by Palestine's Hamas group. Israeli troops now wait for a political go-ahead to launch ground invasion amid the Israel-Hamas war. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas has reportedly said that Hamas group's actions do not represent Palestinian people. Pope Francis' representative in the Holy Land said on Monday he was willing to exchange himself for Israeli children taken. Hostage by Hamas and held in Gaza, Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizabella, the Patriarch of Jerusalem, made his comment in response to a question during a video conference with journalists in Italy. Meanwhile, conditions in Gaza have deteriorated dangerously, experts say, with serious shortages of clean water and food as tens of thousands of Palestinians attempt to flee crippling airstrikes and an Israeli ground offensive. Pope Francis also called for the establishment of humanitarian corridors in Gaza and for the release of hostages taken by Hamas. Continue to seguire con tanto dolore quanto accade in Israel and in Palestina. Ripenso ai tanti, in particolare ai piccoli e agli anziani. Rinnovo l'appello per la liberazione degli ostaggi e chiedo con forza che i bambini, i malati, gli anziani, le donne e tutti i civili non siano vittime del conflitto. Si rispetta il diritto umanitario, soprattutto a Gaza, dove è urgente e necessario garantire corridoi umanitari e soccorrere tutta la popolazione. Fratelli e sorelle, già sono morti moltissimi. Per favore, non si versi altro sangue innocente, né in Terra Santa, né in Ucraina o in qualsiasi altro luogo. Basta. Le guerre sono sempre una sconfitta, sempre. Cricket was on Monday formally included in the program for the 2028 Los Angeles Olympics, delivering a massive boost to the game's global ambitions. Besides cricket, which will be played in the T20 format, the other sports approved by the International Olympic Committee, IOC, during its 141st session, were squash, baseball, softball, lacrosse and flag football. IOC President Thomas Bach made the announcement of cricket's inclusion along with other sport after the recommendation of the executive board was put to vote through raise of hands. The proposal to include the five sports recommended by La 28 Organizing Committee was opposed by only two of the 99 IOC members. The massive following of cricket in India, the world's most populous nation, and the BCCI supporting the ICC in its Olympic bid also went a long way in securing a spot in the LA 28 program. It was only in 2021 that the BCCI changed its stance to back the Games' inclusion in the Summer Games after years of opposition fearing a threat to its autonomy. Italy's Olympic champion shooter, Niccolo Campriani, who is the sports director at LA 28, referred to Indian superstar Virat Kohli's popularity while making the pitch to the IOC here. We also have the T20 World Cup in US and West Indies next year, Campriani said in reference to the ICC event in June next year. Cricket has been played in the Olympics only once before, in Paris in 1900, when England defeated France. The addition of cricket in the Olympics, for the first time since 1900, concludes a two-year process, in which the ICC worked extensively to develop an exciting proposal that supports the Olympic values and La 28's mission to create an unparalleled experience for athletes, fans, partners and the local community, said the ICC in a statement. First, it was uh, about uh, the proposal of uh, the uh, Los Angeles uh, Organizing uh, Committee 
to uh, introduce uh, five uh, new sports and uh, these uh, five sports are baseball uh, softball flag football lacrosse uh, sixes squash and cricket these uh, proposals have been accepted as a package by the IOC executive board, taking into consideration that these proposals and these sports are fully in line with the sports culture of our host in 28, with the American sports culture. They will showcase iconic American sports to the world while bringing at the same time international sports uh, to uh, the United States. Thank you for watching Swatantra TV English Bulletin. For a complete and comprehensive English news bulletin, please do watch Swatantra TV. This is Mahima, signing off. Keep watching Swatantra TV.